there any Australians in the house? Me. <laughs> Good day, mate. And yeah, we Sydney had represent. Sydney. It's the same thing with British accents, right? What most people think of when they say Australian accents, mm. they're talking about like, you know, fucking Chris Hemsworth and Hugh mm. Jackman. The everyday Australian doesn't sound like that. The everyday Australian's like, oh yeah, fucking cunt, yeah, mate, yeah, fucking a. Hey. Oi, give me some fucking Siggy's cunt. Oi, fang us some Siggy's cunt. Fang us a fucking natty cunt. <laughs> you eat like fucking eight spiders a year or something, right? That's 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 the thing. Like uh, willingly? No, Joey, I'm not Australian, okay? Uh, no, I, no, I, no, I knew that wasn't real. Uh, I wanted that to in be In Australia, true. the spiders scream at you. Yeah. They're just like, Joey! <laughs> They're like, <laughs> fuck <I'm> off! Doing! <laughs> Just burn Australia. I mean, it's it's trying its hardest. Yeah, it, it was burning it's for about nine months. <laughs> I mean, or trade offer. That's how strong you feel. Say? What is the pole? No, trade offer. Trade, trade offer. This trade is offer. Trade, trade offer. This My friend and I were like just grabbing rocks. There was like this big cliff face, and we were just like kind of just throwing rocks at the cliff because what do you do <laughs> when you're not go well. What do you do when you go camping, right? Like while while the dads are sitting up the tent, we're like, all right, fuck it, let's just throw rock, rocks yeah. or whatever. That's that, that's the advice I always give to people who like want to go to Australia, right? It's like how how do all these Australians Australians avoid all of these like poisonous snakes and spiders. Don't fuck with them and they won't fuck with you. Like if you go over to like a poisonous snake and start poking it, yeah, you're gonna get fucking bitten. Do you guys yeah. have this? I don't know if this is only an Australian high school thing, but the last year of the 12th grade, like literally the day before graduation, mm -hmm. I, I forgot what it was called. It was, I think it was called like year 12 free day, where basically the 12th graders for the last day of high school, they can just run around the school and do whatever the fuck they want. I think we had something similar in our school. Yeah. What? You guys didn't have this? I didn't have yeah. this. But like our school took that free day literally <laughs> where some <laughs> fucking crazy shit would happen. Like we, we somehow, uh, I think it was like a group of boys. They got one of the teacher's cars right. and they somehow put the car on top of one of the school buildings like on the roof. What? <laughs> and it, I mean, that's too far, but that just sounds impressive. That's impressive. Yeah. Honestly, the and engineering. What, what are the oh, logistics <laughs> behind <laughs> this? You know? This kid's I, going I, past. Wasn't, I wasn't there to witness it. How did that get this there? This must have been in like the news or some shit. No, no, no. no. This is like, this is quite frequent. That sounds like a scene from some frequent? American. <laughs> what do you mean frequent? <laughs> I really struggle with that because obviously the upload speed in Australia is fucking horrendous. <laughs> like, do, do you want to- Yeah, the internet. Yeah. Like the download was fine, but do you know what our upload speed was? Like 0 0.1? Pretty close, like 0.3. Oh my God. Oh God. So <laughs> uploading a like 500 meg video file, yeah. right, which is like nothing, right? Yeah. Would take me like eight hours. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so what I would have to do is I would go to my classes, I'd come back, I would work on a video, I'd edit it until the night, and then I would upload it and then go to sleep. And yeah. then by the time I got up in the morning, it's usually it was moment. like almost finished or it was done. And I it would just be public by that point. And I would do that every day for three years. And unsurprisingly, it was like, I think it was like a month before I decided yeah. to move to Japan. Right. Mm. My computer just exploded. <laughs> Wouldn't like me. it physically, like, yeah. So like we, we say like, you know, instead of like five in the afternoon, we say five in the Arva. You're just cutting out stuff that doesn't need to be cut out. Yeah. Like it's Afternoon is too long of a word. No, oh my just God. say Arvo, it's that's two syllables. More, that's got more than four letters. No, thank you. Yeah, and so I said like, so, you know, obviously my American friends were like, you know, what time is it in Australia right now? And I'm just like, oh, it's like three in the Arvo. And they're like, three in the Arvo? What's an Arvo? And I'm like, oh my God. When you say to an, an American, what is like the sexiest accent? Like mm. what is like an accent that you want like people to like whisper into your ear? Yeah. yeah. For some reason, Australian accent is always like the nah, top. That's like the bottom. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you on about? Australian accents are fucking disgusting. Just say good, I, I, might, like, might, M I G H T. Good, I might. Yeah, there you go. Good, I might. How are you going? Good, I might. There you go. If you didn't know who this guy was, you'd be like, oh, it's just another Aussie bloke. <laughs> no, he totally yeah. is. There's like this mutual, like, just like understanding that I feel like British people and Australian people have when they yeah. like meet. It's like, we're yeah. gonna get drunk, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting drunk. All right, yeah. sick, we're getting yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just an assumption that they will join. We're, we're right? one step away in like Britain and Australia. We're one step away from the point of, if you don't drink, we're gonna bully you. Um, And like he, he orders this every time. And I did not know that you could order like, Oolong High by the jug. 
in karaoke what? places, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he found a way to order it by the jug in karaoke <laughs> places. He's like, you want, a, you want a oolong high, right? I'll, I'll try it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Two jugs come in. I'm like, Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't true. What kind of sample size is this? <laughs> like, what the fuck? God damn. That, is, then, the, that is the most Australian fucking like, phrase. Oh, you want to just try Oolong it. high or oolong die. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah, and then there's this one other time when I went to fuck. I had that, uh, that was our physics teacher in high school. He yeah. he was such a fucking character and and he's carrying around this giant stick. Like yeah. I'm talking like, like twice the size of a cricket bat, <laughs> right? Like just as thick as a cricket bat. And <laughs> and and in like marker on yeah. it, it's it's called the gentle persuader. <laughs> oh my god! And he would just swing this thing around. It wasn't for like because we didn't really have like a dissertation for us. Like we had like three big projects that we had to do, mm -hmm. and yeah. then those three projects would go on display at right. like the uh, graduation party for our curricula. Yeah, and uh, and one of them for the course that I was doing was uh, I I did like a computer robotics course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you ever seen like those robots? Uh, they have them a lot in America, but they're those like robot arms that are basically like robot bartenders. We had to make a program that used the bartender robot. And then they would use, they would show that off at the graduation party to actually serve drinks at the graduation party. So yeah. we're like, okay, that sounds dope. It was one thing that worked. We had like 10 different options that you yeah. could choose from. None of them worked <laughs> except for one. And that was the one where you press a button and we'll pour a beer. <laughs> A single beer. <laughs> That's the most Australian yeah. thing I've Australia ever heard has all been day. Saved. I don't know about other parts of Australia, but Sydney transport was had to have been one of the worst I've ever experienced, right? Like really? if you go, okay, so I had to catch a bus every day to yeah. go to uni, yeah. right? Yeah. And this bus turns up every 20 minutes. That's mm. what it says on yeah. the timetable mm -hmm. at the state at the stop, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. This next one's coming in 10 minutes. Sim. Yeah. 10 minutes passes, no bus. <laughs> Like not a single bus. I'm yeah. like, did I miss it while I was looking down at my phone? Where yeah. is it? Right, like, right, 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 whatever. Another 10 minutes, doesn't show up. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. But then five minutes before the next bus shows up, yeah. the previous bus shows up. Right, right, right. But because the bus is full, it Can't doesn't it. stop. Yeah. So I'm like, not only are you 15 minutes late, but this motherfucker didn't even stop for me. Dude, dude, you fucking have that in like Wales as well. This boy's lucky. He grew up in a city. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like- I mean, t I did too, technically. Oh shit. So he grew up in Sydney, right? Yeah, I grew up in Sydney. Sydney. What the fuck? <laughs> Which is like the biggest city. One of the, the biggest city in Australia. So, like we have Amazon now in Australia, but back when I was living in Australia- Congratulations. Yeah, I know. We finally yeah. got it. Because people are like, Joey, what are you talking about? We do have Amazon. Like yeah. Amazon's only like a recent thing that got introduced mm. to Australia because we only had eBay. Yeah. yeah. And wow. Why would you use eBay for anything? <laughs> Holy shit. I got god. 13 you on my driving it. test. Oh my god. <laughs> you you have to complete the test. Oh really? They don't tell you you failed immediately. You just you you could like do something and you know you failed and you still just have to go through the entire test knowing that you failed. Oh no, because failed. in Australia, the moment you fail, they just immediately tell you and they tell you to drive back mm. because to the instructor they're like, "Oh sweet, we finished 15 I, minutes earlier. I can take a break." 64 by 64 gauntlet cube. You know yeah, what you know what you need to get? What we got? What? A koala beds. Yeah, I, I always I always ask my parents to I send me up. like uh like Australian sweets and stuff. Tim like that. Tams, perhaps? no, Tim you Tams. can get Tim Tams here. Oh, they suck anyway. Now, what? You don't like Tim Tams? <laughs> they're, they're overrated. Oh, I, 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 every Australian Big swears. Just, every, every Australian uh, Australian uh, swears by them like it's like national pride or something. It is national pride. <laughs> I'm just like fucking awesome. These look so bad for you. They're so tasty though. Like holy shit. Uh, there you go. Okay. Imagine a Kit Kat, but like maybe creamier and but like mixed with like a wafer. Mm. Wait, so do you guys consider Tim Tams to be hard cookies? No, biscuits. Biscuits. Oh, oh hard biscuits, right? Yeah, they're hard yeah, biscuits. Yeah. They're not soft what's, biscuits? What's, what's the difference? Because that's a soft biscuit to us. Because we have these things what are you called- you rocks for hard biscuits? We have these things called Anzac cookies, which are literally rocks. Like I don't want to have to kids worry- Kids break teeth yeah, trying to eat I, these. I don't want to have to worry- a, That's not a cookie. If, if I have to worry about <laughs> it breaking- It is a cookie. My, if I have to worry about breaking my goddamn teeth, it's yeah. not a fucking cookie. Because I hate Vegemite. I love Vegemite. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, it's like battery acid. Mm. I've never heard of someone dipping a- Tim Tam and Vegemite. Tim Tam into Vegemite. That's Aussie as fuck. <laughs> you can't get any more Aussie than <laughs> Tim Tam. Dip you want to try Vegemite. it first? No, you got to do it. Man. You suggested it. Fine. <laughs> I 
How is it? <laughs> there are no words. All right, this is a lesson, everybody. The <laughs> traditional way to eat Vegemite in Australia is you get a piece of toast, and then you put butter on it, and then on top of the butter, you put a thin layer of Vegemite. All right, so you get a Tim Tam. So it's like usually you do it with a cup of tea or a cup of yeah. coffee, whatever you prefer. You get a Tim Tam, you bite both ends off. Right. And then you use it as a straw to suck up your tea and coffee. And it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some down under joke? Uh, what, us, uh, us what, in the up uh, and over don't get? <laughs> like, what, 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 what the, the fuck? Up and over. <laughs> I don't know. When, do we, when is something a culture and when is it just like stupid? Like, <laughs> it's what we do. That's what some people do. We've got to find our own fun in Australia, right? There isn't a lot to do. <laughs> exactly. We're right. like kind of just throwing rocks at the cliff because I mean, it probably wasn't as offensive as the first time I went to a fucking Outback Steakhouse, right? And I was just like, whoa. Is this, is this what Australia is to everyone? Yeah. Fucking boomerangs on the wall <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, just like an yeah. Australian. Uh, yeah. Is it? That was like Australian like news documentary narration <laughs> yeah. voice. It was, yeah. it was yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I didn't go up at the end of my sentence <laughs> the way I potentially should have. Like every Australian to does. To appear in Australian media. <laughs> I, I, I felt that uh, like two years ago when I went back, cause I'm from Sydney mm -hmm. uh, in Australia. So like uh, we have a convention in Australia called Smash. Um, oh. Yeah, like big, big anime convention. Yeah. So like getting invited there as a guest just felt so much better than like any other con experience I've ever been to. Cause it was like going back home and being like, look how much this city has grown. <laughs> but drop bears do exist. Any of those folks overseas, when you come to Australia, just keep an eye on the tree cover above because drop bears are everywhere. <laughs> Oi mate, can you, so can you stop by over at the server and fang me a couple of durries and maybe stop by over at the bottle to get me a few tinnies and uh, we'll go get fucking maggot tonight. Then maybe after we hit up the frog and toe, we can go on a fucking Macca's run to chill out for the night, mate. Eh? Try and translate that, American viewers. Well, being with you for so long I, right now, I feel like it makes sense in my head now.